Hello, everybody, what is going on? I am Nunmex, to bring you guys here, Itachi Shinden, the Naruto two-part OVA special. I'm letting you all know, though, when this special is done, which is next week on the 10th, is the last episode when this special will be done in the last episode for it to be going live. Now, when that does go live, Naruto filler is get ergo over. I say ergo because shit, you never know what could happen again. They could, you know, reveal Kaguya and then go right back into filler, all right? They could go back to, they could do some backstory of Kaguya for filler, and on God, God, I hope they don't do that, but I mean shit, we know Naruto by now. When guy was going eight gates, they whipped the filler because they're trying to make that money. But if you guys are enjoying the video, of course, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you are new, I also love to hear your comments and feedback on what you think of baby Itachi, Beatus Itachi, because he is a prodigy, a god, dude. But essentially what's going on is they're talking about a backstory of Itachi. Sasuke ends up becoming the leader of Team 7 for part team uh, because Sakura is a bitch and he put her down real quick and well, Naruto can't, isn't really smart and he puts Kakashi down as well. He's literally said Kakashi's in the same level as Sakura. And I was like, damn, Sasuke back at it again with the roast because that hurt me too. Damn, come on, he taught you a signature move and you milked it. Come on, man, ow, that hurt me. <laughs> but uh, it goes right into backstory and then it starts going to the flashbacks uh, for this two-part OVA special which is going to be a worthy watchable OVA part two-part special I'm telling you watch this all right all right I, I did not watch any filler of Naruto that whole you know never-ending dream infinite Sukuyumi filler I did not watch any of that but the first one of Killer B otherwise I didn't watch any of that it's not worth it so don't watch that okay I just don't think that it's worth it you can if you want but it's up to you all right this one though I do recommend you to watch it. it is a hundred percent worth it i promise you on my life dude on my life i promise you that it is worth it okay but to go back to uh, Itachi Uchiha, you know, when he was a child around Sasuke's age, you know, when Sasuke was a child, when Sa when Itachi murdered the entire clan, he was a, Itachi was about that age that Sasuke was, and he's very mature, very smart, and very strong for his age. He gives pity to someone who's not even from like his clan, you know? They're going through the Great Ninja War. I don't know which one. Uh, maybe it was the third Great Ninja War, you know? I'm pretty sure it was the third Great Ninja War, some type of war where they were going through, because the third Okage was at fault for this war, so he took full responsibility for that. And this is when he was gonna go down in the fourth Okage, and then becoming the whole Kage. This is kind of around that time, you know? Naruto was just, just barely about to be born. He was still in his mother's stomach at this time. And really, he pitied him and he gave him a bottle of water, but the guy goes and kills him and he learns a valuable lesson that it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter what you've done to them, but it matters where you come from, what you stand for, and what you believe in, is what his father told him, right? And he is an Uchiha, which is from the hidden village in the leaf, which therefore this village hated the hidden village in the leaf, so it wanted nothing to do with them but to kill them, and well, that's exactly why. And Itachi didn't understand that. He didn't understand it at all. He didn't understand why he was about to be killed when he just gave this guy water when he was dying for it. He didn't understand that he didn't do anything wrong to this guy, but the guy was still about to kill him. But Itachi killed him with the swiftness. The boy's barely 10. And he kills him with the swiftness, dude. Oh my god, Itachi was a genius when he was a boy. A genius. There was also this scene as though Itachi was learning about life. And he talked to Orochimaru, and Orochimaru told him that life has no meaning. You make that up for your own. And Itachi, I don't think he got rid of the, the real picture of that because he's going to commit suicide. Like he jumped off a giant cliff when he was told that life had no meaning. He's gonna jump off a cliff, which he did, but I maybe it was a type of ninja training. I have absolutely no idea. It looked as though he was just gonna end his whole life there, finding out that life had no meaning. And I guess he just kind of propped it himself back up after that. And you see him bonding with this crow. And I guess that just kind of symbolizes then it's showing, you know, the crow that he constantly uses now, you know, it just kind of symbolizes this crow is going to eventually have something to do with him. But it's a small little teaser. You know that this crow is going to be doing something with him. They want to show the backstory with it. I guess his crow was kind of there when he didn't really end his life. Therefore, symbolizing that life does have meaning because Sasuke is the meaning that he eventually wanted to have life for. As soon as Sasuke was born, he looked at life in a completely different way. He looked at it as in protecting his brother, helping his brother becoming stronger. You know, he looked at it in a completely different way because then, if, as you can see at the end credit, he asked his dad. For teaching him to know jutsu 
you know? Like, so it seems as though Sasuke ended up becoming his life because, like, that's exactly how I was treated when I was a kid. And I don't know why, but Sasuke's birth really meant that much to him, you know? And I guess he wanted to teach someone that was related to him by blood that was younger than him that didn't know as much as he did. I guess he wanted to just kind of teach them, you know, that there is meaning to life. You can make the meaning of your life all on your own depending on how you go about it very influential character and a very you know inspirational character when it comes to the whole naruto series which is why he's so important why he constantly keeps coming back alive and these specials and these non-canon episodes and in these ovas he keeps coming back alive because he's just that important when it comes to the whole naruto story brand itself you know he's done a lot he's even these kids that are bullying him all because of the type of racism you know they don't like to chia clan you know so they're just kind of like oh you're a smart ass now you're sussing us out it's just like he's not saying anything he's just walking into like oh cool guy huh i'm like no he just doesn't want to mess with you at all she asked him do you want to play he didn't say anything obviously meaning no but they threw rocks at him and i thought it was really cool when he threw the rock back and it kind of clanked off all of it therefore his kunai training right there and his kunai training is pretty you know at top level it's jonin level at that young age it's, i'm not even kidding it's jonin level and he eventually teaches sasuke that type of stuff which is why sasuke is so good with kunai eventually he can use a sword fun fact but that's it. So if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to give it a thumbs up. We get to see both the light and the dark side of Itachi. I'm assuming this episode is more on the light. And next week's episode will be the darkness. So, yeah. So, of course, give it a thumbs up. So if you're new, I'd love to your feedback down in the comments down below as well. But with that being said, I'm going to get up out of here.